the latest on the debt ceiling talks as default deadline nears. This information just come out 30 minutes ago. We have the most up-to-date information on what we're covering when it comes to Social Security, those on a fixed income, senior citizens, SSI, SSDI, VA survivor. All of this news just came out 30 minutes ago. We're going to keep you updated on everything that's going on. So let's jump into the news. But real fast, thank you guys so much for tuning in today. We couldn't do it without you. Your love and support means the world. We're offering a $25 Amazon gift card to one lucky subscriber. We do that giveaway every Friday. So if you want a chance to win, all you have to do is hit that subscribe button by joining the family. And if you appreciate us doing this work and the research, make sure to hit that like button. Like I said, this news just come out 38 minutes ago. Let's dive into what's happening with this debt ceiling crisis. The reason it's so important is because it's going to affect those on Social Security, Medicare, those that are really depending on that government check. Here's what is titled in the article headline saying that Republican senators criticize the White House and Democrats for waiting to negotiate on a debt limit. Republican senators, they were criticizing, saying, I just don't understand why Senator Chuck Schumer sat on his butt the whole time. Biden sat on his butt the whole time that we've known about this problem since every probably before January. Now we're just within two weeks and they're finally waking up to say that, you know, we're going to have to talk to people. So Senator Rick Scott, after congressional leaders met with President Joe Biden Tuesday, we lost time because President Biden refused to meet with Speaker McCarthy and gambled that Speaker McCarthy could not pass on a plan. He added, I think they will eventually reach an agreement because I don't think that President Biden either morally or politically wants to be responsible for defaulting on the debt of the United States of America. Scott also said that Biden should cancel his trip to Japan after already cutting the trip short and canceling his other stops. I think he should not leave and he should focus on the debt limit here at home. And this is where I think many of you would agree just because we have bigger fish to fry in this country. I get it. He's made plans with other countries. But right now, this is really huge. This is, could affect millions and millions of people. And this is honestly why many people will not vote for Joe Biden again. He's not taking this thing seriously when it comes to making sure that those on Social Security and Medicare are being taken care of. You know that if things go default and our country gets into this economic default, then we're going to go into a recession, which is going to make things worse for everybody. And this is something that just not much appreciated. But yes, they did have the meeting today. President Joe Biden was optimistic that there is a path forward and an agreement that they would be making. But they're just still so far away is what Kevin McCarthy is saying. He says, if Congress doesn't act and the country could face some economic repercussions, this is live. What happened today? This updated news just come out like 38 minutes ago. And we really wanted to come out and just say, this is what exactly is going on. Should you worry? Are senior citizens going to get a check? Are they going to continue to work to make sure that you get 100% of your benefits for Medicare, Social Security? Because there's millions and millions of people who are depending on this check alone. McCarthy appoints Grace to negotiate with the White House with the White House officials on the debt limit. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy announced that his staff and Republican Representative Garrett Graves would negotiate with Office of Management and Budget Director Shalonda Young and White House aide Stevie Ricchetti going forward on the debt limit. McCarthy said the difference in the process is now is that they have a format and a structure. Nothing has been resolved in this negotiation. The only thing that has changed is that we finally have a format that has proven to work in all the years past. And this is some very, very exciting news that initially we could get things done this week. We've only got two weeks left. So what's going to happen to the $200 monthly increase for those on a fixed income? Is it even a consideration when it comes to provided the bills that got to get paid? That's the whole reason why things are happening. Bills are due. They got to get paid. We don't have enough money to pay everything. So what's going to get paid? Well, the Republicans automatically said priority number one, Social Security. Number two, Medicare. Three, military. And they're going to get paid. We're going to make sure that 
those bills in particular, we're going to make sure that every one of you guys gets 100% of your benefits, gets your monthly check every single month because we want to take care of our senior citizens and those on a fixed income, those that are disabled, disabled vets. It's not a fun thing to be in a meeting where two parties cannot align together on their negotiations, on their discussions, and in fact, debate on who's right and who's wrong. This is very disappointing to hear, especially if you're one on a fixed income. The last thing that you want to hear is that they can't seem to get it together. They can't come up with a plan. They can't figure it out. And this is very frustrating because all along, this could have been fixed. Even McConnell said that Biden designated someone to speak with McCarthy is a key takeaway from the White House meeting. This is what I, I'm not understanding is if President Joe Biden, he's the president, he's the one who's supposed to initiate these things forward. Why is he delegating someone else to speak with McCarthy to get something so big, so important to the American people to get it done? Why is he not doing his job? Why is he taking trips to other countries when the U.S. is about to go into default? I'm sorry to go off on a tangent, but it's just, to me, I wish that we could really understand what the heck is going on because it doesn't make sense for our president to schedule trips to visit other countries when our country is two weeks away from going into default and not being able to do what we need to do and possibly going into a recession. Which one do you think is more important? I'm just saying, who voted for this guy that he would treat America the way that he's treating it? Does that make you feel like America's first? Does that make you honestly believe that he's for the American people? I know many of you guys are voting for Joe Biden and you are entitled to your own opinion and you get to vote for whoever you want to vote for. But I am frustrated to hear that all of these senators are saying instead of this guy going to other countries, he needs to stay here and fix the problems here. Why is he not taking care of America? And when you hear other senators saying this, then it's kind of like, why isn't he following up on what he said that he would make America great? He would make America better. He would make sure that senior citizens, Social Security, everybody was taken care of. And it's just like not happening. So let me know what you think about it down in the comments below. We've got a ton of other information soon to come. We are watching this heavily because this affects you on a fixed income. This affects those that need that monthly check. We will also continue to do research on that 200 monthly increase just to make sure that they're negotiating in with this bill so that way we can get it passed. But guys, I love you. I appreciate you. Thank you for your love and support. If you want a chance to win a free $25 gift card, make sure to join the family by hitting that subscribe button. If you appreciate us looking up all this news, doing our diligence to research it, then smash that like button. But guys, stay safe, stay warm. We've got more videos on the way. And until next time, I'm John Miro. Peace.